Hello everyone, 2019 has been an interesting year for SpaceX to say the least. The company has undergone massive transformation in what is most important year for SpaceX since funding of the company. The 2020s lie ahead and 2020 in particular will play important role in SpaceX evolution and in the next phase of development. 2020 will be the year when SpaceX finally starts to commit to some major capital programs that could make the company one of the most important players in future of manned spaceflight. I know some of you might start screaming at me, you lost your marbles mate, perhaps time to get a bit of perspective. Well, if you listen to me, you realize why my statement has some validity. Ever since SpaceX was created, the company CEO, Elon Musk, never shied away from perhaps controversial topic of colonization of Mars, but also importance of humanity becoming a multiplanetary species. Although SpaceX had some ups and downs and suffered series of setbacks on its path to become a dominant private space rocket company, SpaceX has emerged stronger, more able and smarter ready for new challenges that lie ahead will test even most resolved individuals and companies out there. SpaceX has a tall order in 2020 and 2020 will prove most crucial year for the company since its inception way back in 2002 and in 2011 when the company almost went bust. 2020 will see a massive expansion of SpaceX capability and portfolio the company has scheduled at least 40 commercial launches this year with Falcon 9 Block 5 rockets to be utilized at least 37 times and SpaceX has also scheduled single Falcon Heavy launch in late 2020. By the way, this might also be the very last time SpaceX uses Falcon Heavy rocket, mainly due to the introduction of the next rocket in SpaceX arsenal, Super Heavy and Starship. 40 SpaceX launches planned for 2020 would be the largest number of launches SpaceX had since the company formed. However, 24 of these launches will be for the SpaceX own commercial arm, the Starlink. Starlink, if you never heard of the company, is SpaceX own bank, a license to print money. Starlink is what will make Elon Musk's vision possible and I can't understate this for the importance of Starlink for SpaceX. And when I say Starlink is licensed to print the money, this is cause Starlink will become most important revenue source for SpaceX in 2020s and beyond. This year alone, SpaceX plans to launch 24 Falcon 9 rockets carrying around 1,440 Starlink satellites for a total of 1,620 Starlink satellites by year's end. Staggering number by any means. Why is Starlink so important? Well, it is SpaceX's own space-based internet that will revolutionize how we all access the web, offering global internet coverage and competing against largest communication companies today. And how big can Starlink get? Imagine this, combined largest communication companies in China, India, Japan, Brazil, US, EU, Canada, and a few other places, and double that. This is the potential size of Starlink. That company alone will generate at least $50 billion by 2035, with 10 to 20% of that being pure profits. Starlink market capitalization value will dwarf likes of Amazon and Microsoft today, enabling SpaceX to colonize Mars, Venus, Moon, moons of Jupiter, and mount interstellar missions to Milky Way's galactic core. Oh, and Switzerland will become wholly owned subsidiary of SpaceX. Well, not really bit of joke on the side, but you get the idea. SpaceX will have more money than it knows what to do with it. Beyond Starlink this year, SpaceX will also have one of the most important missions planned for mid-2020. Most likely, but not confirmed, SpaceX will perform first manned mission to ISS using SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. The company has been developing for past eight years. SpaceX recently performed Dragon Crew in-flight abort test, which performed perfectly. The results so far are very encouraging, and NASA might give a green light for actual manned Crew Dragon mission by the end of May. 
To remind you all, NASA originally gave SpaceX around $2.6 billion in funding for Crew Dragon as part of NASA's requirement to restore America's capability for manned spaceflight and support of America's ISS mission. Although SpaceX started development of Crew Dragon way back in 2011 and early 2012, the actual Crew Dragon only now will fly first manned mission after nearly eight years of testing and development. However, this is still a lot cheaper, 55% in fact, of what NASA paid Boeing to develop CST-100 Starliner, which won't be ready till the end of this year, if even then. And finally, we come to Starship, the future cornerstone, raison d'etre of SpaceX. Starship will play such an important role for SpaceX in coming years. It is what will make or break SpaceX hopefully the former. Starship has been in development, well, various incarnations of Starship have been in development since 2015. Yeah, I know, many of won't remember, but SpaceX started way back in 2015 with initial development of what Gwen Shotwell referred to as Falcon XX rocket, later to be known as MCT, which followed into ITS and then BFR, and now Starship and Super Heavy. With Starship undergoing so many incarnations, question is if Starship will undergo another redesign. And yes, the answer to that question is yes. Well, kind of. Starship will undergo modification till it meets optimal design parameters Elon Musk and SpaceX will be happy with. But also have a growing list of SpaceX clients. SpaceX hopes to improve design from current SN1 or Starship serial number one, let's call it prototype, to something SpaceX and Elon Musk consider ideal, which in Elon Musk's words should be around Starship SN20 or something that will undergo four or five years of evolution. But before SpaceX can actually build the next 20 Starships, Company started work on Starship SN1, which is progressing at pace that indicates Starship 1 will be ready by mid-April, or in about 10 to 12 weeks from now. This seems fast, but there is a good reason for this. Number of workers that are working on Starship SN1 has tripled. Expertise working on such complex rocket have improved dramatically, and SpaceX ability to manufacture components and parts for Starship have increased as well. Recently, Elon Musk outlined an ambitious target of construction of 100 starships per year. I know, this number sounds crazy. To be honest, it is crazy. But even if Elon Musk hopes to build, say, 20 starships per year, which in my opinion would be overkill, and remarkable achievement at that, company will need several manufacturing facilities across the country. And SpaceX is actually looking at that right now as we speak. SpaceX is again negotiating with Los Angeles Port Authority for a long-term lease of same dock facilities SpaceX was negotiating over some two years ago. This time, however, SpaceX needs the facility to actually expand its Starship and Raptor rocket engine production. The closeness to the sea and massive airport makes things a lot easier for SpaceX in terms of logistics, but also testing. The reason perhaps why SpaceX chose this facility in Port of Los Angeles. Before 2020 is over, SpaceX will complete a number of major projects, which includes construction of at least three starships. Starship SN1 work just started, and I've made a video about that. Work on Starship SN2 should start within the next few weeks, according to Elon Musk, but could be sometimes in March or mid-April even, as Starship SN1 was delayed a fair bit, and work on Starship SN3 could probably start in July or August. Work on Starship SN4 could also start this year, However, this is highly speculative on my part right now. SpaceX will expand in California and Florida as part of KSC or Kennedy Space Center SpaceX complex at Roberts Road, enabling SpaceX to work on three starships simultaneously. 
Theoretically at three facilities, Boca Chica, California and Florida, SpaceX could produce as many as 12 starships each year from 2023 onwards. With a rate of 12 starships per year, SpaceX could by 2030 produce around 85 starships, or hit magical figure of 100 starship if SpaceX expands facilities slightly. At this rate, SpaceX could theoretically have capacity to send 1,200 to 1,500 people to Mars every two years. This could be sustainable, possibly, and by 2050 we could have a thriving Martian colony, a city of Mars, that will be home to at least 30, 32,000 Martian colonies. Okay, this is not one million colonists Elon Musk was hoping for, but million colonies was a long shot. Doubling Starship output to around 24 Starships per year, or let's say 175 Starships by 2030, number of Martian colonies could reach as many as 50, 55,000. Elon Musk did promise Mars City. Video are made in the past, links in the description. However, SpaceX is yet to reveal technology, bots and ideas of how it plans to build such colony. Don't get me wrong, I'm confident SpaceX can do it. I just like to see some concrete ideas and plans so I can at least get some idea of what lies ahead. In retrospect, SpaceX has ambitious agenda for 2020. I probably missed a few things, but to be honest, with so much happening with a company, you have to forgive me. It is hard to keep up. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description.